Hi there my magical star beings, this is Psychic Siren Tara and welcome to, to the channel. In today's reading we're going to be taking a look at what about your beauty makes you stand out. So please be aware this is a general reading, only take what resonates and leave the rest as the messages may differ for everyone watching, especially when I talk about physical features I see only take what resonates. So I'm now going to show you your crystals for each pile and what we have for each pile. So for pile number one we have this mermaid trinket. And we have the card naked. For pile number two, we have this rainbow trinket. With little crystal rainbows inside, <laughs> rainbow colors. Oh well. And then we have the card creativity. <laughs> this thing did not want to go up back out. Okay, creativity. And then for pile number three, we have this pyrite crystal. And we have the card pleasure. So I'm going to give you a few seconds to pick a pile, pick whichever pile you're most drawn to. Once you're done picking a pile, please find the timestamps for your pile in the description box below and then I'll see you at your reading. Hi there my pile number ones, if you chose this mermaid trinket and the naked card, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at what about your beauty makes you stand out. Please be aware this is a general reading, only take what resonates and leave the rest, especially when I talk about physical features, because I know everyone here has different physical features. I'm first going to go ahead and pull some oracle cards, and then I'm going to go ahead and pull tarot cards after that. So I saw a vision for you, my pile ones, uh, right off the bat. I saw a vision of like you walking somewhere or you being around somewhere and then like someone looking at you and you know in those cartoons when um, they look at someone and they fall in love instantly and then they shake their head and then they have like heart eyes. I saw like that. So, you know, you may have a lot of people when you're out in public, you know, kind of stop and stare at you or kind of just you know, want to look at you more or kind of shake their head because they don't believe that they're seeing someone so beautiful or so attractive. Um, and I definitely feel like whenever you walk somewhere or whenever you're out in public, you have that showstopper energy of like making people look at you and, you know, making their jaws drop in some way. <laughs> So spirit guides of my pile ones, what about their beauty makes them stand out? Okay, we have the card shame. And then at the back of the deck we have the card joy. So just for some context, when I was about to start your pick a card reading, well the pick a card reading in general, and then I was about to start pulling cards for pile one, I felt a uh, energy of like, you standing out so much with your beauty that, you know, certain people have projected their own insecurities onto you. And I felt a pain in my sacral chakra and now I'm feeling it again. And just before I started the pick a card, like my lower back was hurting so much. So I know I wasn't just feeling it like me. Um, there was also a fly around like when I was about to start. So flies I see as like people being negative and, you know, just not being so nice. Um, so with the lower back and the sacral chakra, our sacral chakra is all about 
our point of confidence in the world, where we shine out to the world, where we really show up in the world and we embody our truth and we kind of are just ourselves in the world. It's also the energy point of our sensuality and how we feel about our body. And what I feel is happening here in my pile number ones is you are starting to see that maybe the people that were projecting their own insecurities onto you were actually just trying to make you not see the truth of who you really are, how beautiful or attractive you really are, because I feel like I feel like there's an energy here of maybe the things you are insecure about are the things that make you beautiful and are the things that make you stand out the most. Because this is the reading that we're doing on what makes you stand out. What about your beauty makes you stand out? So for example, let's say you have curly hair and you're like, mm, I don't really like my curly hair, but that's exactly the reason why people stare at you and people find you so attractive or Let's say you have um, more of a curvy figure, for example, and then, you know, people are looking at you and maybe you're not liking the way your body looks, but then people are looking at you and finding your body so attractive. Of course, you don't have to resonate with the examples I use, but I'm just trying to explain the energy. Whatever you feel shameful or insecure about or like you have to hide is exactly what makes you shine, is exactly what makes you turn heads and I feel like the people that, or even if it wasn't people, even if it was yourself that told yourself these things, that created these insecurities, it's like, it's not the truth. The truth is people see it as what makes you stand out, what makes you shine. Um, because all the orange here gives me the vibe of like you having a really seductive energy or the sensuality as well with the mermaid here of like luring people in. Um, and you even chose the mermaid trinket. <laughs> Actually, when I got this, this kind of trinket, I got it from winning a prize and, um, I was hearing that song by Katy Perry, Birthday Something, um, like as soon as I picked your crystal. So since I got it as a prize, I see that as a gift. Maybe you have such a beauty that stands out that it is seen like a gift to others. And it's seen like, oh my gosh, like I just have the greatest gift of you know, looking at this amazing human being right here, this is a gift to be even in their presence. Like, that's a feeling I get of how people see you. And when you are truly in your joy and truly, you know, I feel like some of you are healing some of this with the water in this naked card because this card also talks about emotional vulnerability and she's much more open here. She is kind of covering herself. So I feel like some of you, even with the snake here, you are transforming this and you are healing uh, certain insecurities so that you can tr uh, show up to the world authentically and see how much you shine and be confident in yourself regardless of other people's opinions, where you can really be your authentic self and not give a F what people think. Um, and I feel here with the emotional vulnerability, it's like you are coming to a phase where you can truly be open and be like, yes, this is the way I look. This is the way who I am. And if you don't like that, there's the door. <laughs> you know that meme? There's the door, B. <laughs> I'm seeing that meme. So yeah, this was the African Goddess Rising Oracle deck. I'm now going to pull some more cards. And this was card number 19 and 30. Someone asked for me to mention the card names. And you know, like when you get a birthday girl or bo birthday boy or birthday person, if you don't re relate to being a man or woman, uh, they are the ones that stand out the most. Like, they are the ones that, you know, maybe wear a crown or wear something and it's like their day. So I feel like with me saying, I'm hearing that song about Katy Perry about a birthday something, um, that song that's like, make it like your birthday every day, something like that. Um, there's this energy of you 
standing out the most this is not to say other people don't stand out but there's this energy of you standing out the most um like it is your birthday every day <laughs> So, spirit guys of my pile ones, what about their beauty makes them stand out? What about their beauty? Ooh, we have the card magic. So, this is my pile of magical mermaids, magical fairies. <laughs> I love this. And then we have the card abundance. So, what about your beauty makes you stand out, my pile ones, is the fact that you are learning to show yourself more to the world and to let go of certain memories associated to things people have said to you or maybe the things you've said to yourself that have made you not feel so confident in yourself. And since she has peacock feathers here as a hat, when we think of a peacock, a peacock has such colorful feathers and it stands out. I feel like since you shine so much, since you stand out, it's like maybe those people caused you not to see your magic, caused you not to see what makes you shine. Um, and it's like, I used this metaphor before, you know, maybe someone being around you and making you think you are a chicken when really you are the peacock that um, everyone notices. You get what I mean? Um, and I feel that energy, like they prevented you from seeing your own magic, but now you are starting to transform your belief in self, your self-confidence, starting to maybe show yourself more to the world and um, make new memories, just like how they say beauty is the eye of the beholder or something like that, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. An example I can give of this is some people have said to me while I was in school, you talk so slow, it sounds like you're high or something, but I wasn't. And then like, I got so insecure about my voice, but then when I started the YouTube channel, people said, you know, your voice is so soothing, so calming. So one thing may be true, yes, to that person, but one thing may also be true, and that may be my magic or... Uh, let's say one person said to you, oh, you're too much, but then you being that person that is so-and-so too much is actually the reason why people stare at you or why people want to be friends with you or be your lover or have you around because they see your magic and I feel like you have that magical type of beauty. Um, you know, when you see anime characters and then there's like stars around them, I feel like people see you like that as if there's shininess around you. Uh, there's something about you looking rich or expensive with the abundance card. Um, I'm hearing that song, um, If I Was a Rich Girl, na 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 na. <laughs> and that music video of her where she's wearing all that beautiful jewelry and everything and she looks so expensive I feel like maybe you have that type of look that makes you stand out even if you don't see yourself as financially abundant or secure you know you could wear certain jewelry and it people could think that you paid hundreds of dollars for that or you could wear certain clothes and it looks so good on you that um, it makes you stand out and then people think you spend so much money on it. Um, and I'm hearing this song, she's magic, it's tragic, that no one saw it when it happened. Something like that. It's called She's Magic. I don't know who it's by. So you are beginning to see your magic. You are beginning to see what makes you stand out. And you stand out abundantly with your beauty. <laughs> So let me now go ahead and see what else shows up. But at the back of the deck, we have friendship. So a lot of people see you out in public and, you know, want to be your friend, want to be around you. Have you ever gotten a friendship crush on someone, seen them out in public and been like, that person looks so cool, I want to be their friend, but then you're too shy to go up to them and talk to them? I feel that energy. So... I also feel like when you're joyful and when you're happy and when you're smiling, when you're truly in your essence of just being you, is when you shine the most, is when you stand out the most. Um, and now I'm feeling an upper back pain all of a sudden. 
You know, when I talk about this, I don't mean that you have to feel back pain to relate to this reading. It's the energy I'm feeling and certain parts of my body associate with certain different things. Um, so maybe you have been carrying what is not yours to carry. Now it's time to put that down. Okay, so this was the messages from Mermaid's Oracle deck. We're now using the Sacred Light Oracle deck. So Spirit Guides of my Pile Ones, what about their beauty makes them stand out? We have Spirit Guides with Looking for Signs, Philosophical Discussion and Supervision with card number 30. Interesting that we have 30 and 30 here. That may be one of your ages that are watching <laughs> or maybe people... Like, let's say one of you are watching this and you're like in your 40s, but people think you're in your 30s. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of getting that vibe. And then we have energy attachments with energy exchange, negative influences and self-sabotage. This is like almost like the devil card I see it as. Um, but I see this card a little bit differently. I don't see it. Did I mention card 13? I don't know. I don't see it as the devil in general or like any negative energies. I see it more so as like, like I mentioned, it looks like the devil card to me in tarot, but it gives me like this vibe since we're doing a, a reading on what about your beauty makes you stand out. You know, you could have the type of beauty that stands out so much that People look at you and, you know, maybe get jealous of you or jealous of what they perceive you to have in terms of abundance. Um, and, you know, it could trigger insecurities within them is what I feel here because this is the card we have at the back of the deck. Cosmic gateway with insecurities, connection with others and refocusing. So a lot of people, whether you realize it or not, could look at you and wish to have certain traits or features you have or wish to have certain things that you have or that kind of star factor within you of just standing out and shining and taking up space and really when you walk in a place in public it's like you own it and you really look like you are standing out the most is what I feel here just like that peacock energy um and I feel an energy here where you don't even realize that people look at you and maybe they think, you know, I wish I had a nose like pile one or I wish I had hair like pile one. Their hair is so pretty or I wish I had a face like pile one or the skin color of pile one. Like that's something you don't realize. And with the mermaid energy here, you have like the siren like effect of drawing or luring people in and you know people just want to stop and stare at you all day and it's like a gift to even stare at you um you know when celebrities talk to people and they're like don't look at me and they're like uh sorry sorry I won't look at you I feel like that energy almost like people um kind of put you on a pedestal and maybe you don't realize that but also here with spirit guides, I feel like another part of you that makes you beautiful is your inner magic. Your heart is a beautiful cosmic portal to magical love. And I feel like when you really are around the people you love, they see, you know, the way you smile, the way you laugh, um, parts of your personality that are so sacred and beautiful. And there's this feeling of them like seeing your heart as the most beautiful thing that makes you stand out. But also the way you are so generous with others. I feel like you're very helpful towards others. And with the Spirit Guides card, it's like people see you as, you know, like a supportive guide to them almost like... um like in your friendships, for example, if they had to ask you for advice, it's like you'd give the best advice or you'd really look out for the people around you like they're your family and take care of them. You have a very nurturing energy and, you know, you care about others. And I feel like that is another thing people find beautiful about you that makes you stand out because it's like, yes, that person over there may have all the physical features that are so beautiful but so do you and you have a heart of gold with that so it's like 
Yes, there are so many attractive people in the world and if we have to worry about someone else being more attractive than us, there are always going to be that. Or I'm not saying more attractive than you, but you know, there's always attractive people out there in the world and I feel like no one can, you know, match your heart. No one can be you and that is the most beautiful blessing there is here on earth, okay? That's what makes you beautiful, makes you stand out. So let's go ahead and pull some small little tarot cards and then I'm going to pull your actual tarot cards. So I keep seeing curly hair here, wavy hair, um, straight hair, black hair, blonde hair. Some of you are men watching this and with this card, the devil like card I kind of also feel a really seductive energy like maybe when you're around people they start to think like inappropriate things about you I don't know <laughs> um and I'm also noticing her lips like these three people here like their lips look really good so maybe people think you have kissable lips um like I said something about you looking bougie or expensive maybe it's the jewelry you wear uh the clothes you wear um and then you have this magical feel to you too and i feel like this mermaid that is looking away so is this one there's something about like when you're out in public and you're just doing something like let's say for example you're buying groceries they don't see your whole face but then they're like that person over there is so beautiful so <laughs> Or they start staring at you and you don't realize it. So spirit guys on my pile ones, what about them? What about their beauty makes them stand out? We have the chariot. I feel like people look at you and assume you have so many shopping bags as we see here in the back. Like assume maybe you have so much clothes. Like maybe you dress up really well in a really good aesthetic. And it's like that person over there probably buys clothes like every day. <laughs> Even if you don't. Strangers can have assumptions. Um, maybe you drive a nice car and people sometimes envy that or admire it. And the cow in the back also represents abundance. So yeah, and with the chariot, I'm feeling an energy of like you always moving forward to create new memories that are joyful, that are like a gift. Okay, uh, so spirit guides on my pile twos, pile ones. Maybe some of you are drawn to pile two. May I please look into what about their beauty makes them stand out? Four of Pentacles in reverse. With the Four of Pentacles in reverse, I'm kind of feeling the energy of not withholding anymore. Not withholding your light, not dimming yourself anymore. Letting it show to the whole world. Letting your magic show to the whole world. Do you get what I mean? And when you are less guarded, it's like you just stand out even more. And I feel like you're learning to become less guarded because we put up these protective walls to protect ourselves. But it's like, I can't protect myself anymore from this. I want to shine out. I want to stand out. I want to be me in the world. Whether people like it or not, like, I'm going to live my life for me is the energy I see with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. And I feel like recently you've started having a mindset similar to that and that's what really makes you stand out we have the sun card so like i said when you are happy when you are in a really good mood there's something about you know your smile lighting up the whole room that is so beautiful even if you don't feel like you have beautiful teeth or a beautiful smile even there's something about the energy so beautiful so spirit guides on my pile ones what about their beauty makes them stand out we have the hangman so with the hangman i'm hearing it's about damn time uh that song that goes like it's about damn time in a minute i need a something like that 
I don't know who it's by. <laughs> um, but maybe it's about damn time you start seeing, you know, the things about you that truly make you stand out. At the back of the deck, we have the High Priestess. So some of you are very, very connected spiritually and I guess people find that to be a beautiful thing in your personality. Or maybe you already intuitively know the things that make you beautiful and stand out. Um, but maybe you just want to hear it from someone else too. Uh, the full card wanted to come out but it's not there anymore. Spirit guides on my pile ones. Can I please look into what about their beauty makes them stand out? We have the chariot again. We have the moon. Yeah, like this lunar energy. I'm hearing the word lunar energy. Like maybe some of you have an energy or a beauty like the moon. When I think of the moon, the moon is kind of... Reminds me of like voluptuousness. <laughs> some of you are really voluptuous. Or some of you are really in your divine feminine energy. Or you have this emotionally vulnerable look to you like I don't know how to exactly describe that but it looks like in your eyes like when people look into your eyes because I'm looking at the moon and it reminds me of big eyes like maybe some of you have big cute eyes and it makes people sort of just trust you like cartoon like almost uh do you get what I mean <laughs> And I also feel an energy here of maybe you starting to be more okay with uh, seeing your emotions as something beautiful. Something beautiful to share with others or yourself because it's what makes you human. And with the chariot here, it's like, I feel you've been honoring your emotions. Yes, definitely with the moon and maybe the things you are currently healing from and walking away from with the Eight of Cups here. But it's like you're also moving forward and you're ready to create new memories and ready to really show yourself to the world. Um, and I, I guess I see that message again. So we have the Lovers card. So your beauty may stand out so much that you have no idea how many people have crushes on you, how many people you've even walked away from that still think about you as if you're the one that got away and they cannot let you go with the four of pentacles in reverse um all of a sudden I just could not speak it so I was like my breath was like up and down so maybe you take people's breath away um like maybe you are breathtakingly beautiful and that makes you stand out and it's like ooh, who's that person over there um, like I have to talk to Pal to ask them for their number. Like maybe you have a beauty like that. Or with the lovers, I'm also kind of getting a Venusian type of beauty. Maybe you have a Venusian type of beauty that like is sweet and soft. And like maybe some of you like to wear pink. I'm seeing the Barbie movie. <laughs> um, or just like very girly for some of you. Uh, we have the Judgment card. We have the Queen of Swords. And the funny thing is we have the Queen of Swords, but also the Mermaid energy. You know how sirens have their siren song and it just makes people fall in love. Maybe you have a voice that makes people fall in love with you. Uh, draws them in. It's like they can't get you out of their head. Um, and that's what I feel there. We have the Nine of Swords. With this Nine of Swords, as soon as I saw this card, I was hearing the um, TikTok sound that's like, I'm gonna lose my job, something like that. Um, there was a hair here. Maybe some of you have beautiful hair. <laughs> um, but like maybe you have no idea with this card, like how many people look at you and kind of like, feel a little bit insecure and like worried like because they want to look like you 
And with the judgment card, I kind of feel an energy of community, like I'm looking at all the people there, and I feel an energy of community and just like how at home you make people around you feel, but also this transformative energy you have. And with the Queen of Swords here, you know, she's on the clouds. I kind of feel some of you have like that head in the clouds, daydreamy type of beauty or ethereal type of beauty that makes you stand out too. So I'm going to leave your reading here on my pile number ones. I really hope this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye! Hi there my pile number twos, if you chose this rainbow trinket and the creativity card, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at what about your beauty makes you stand out. Please be aware this is a general reading, only take what resonates and leave the rest. And I will say some of you are from pile one, um, or some of you were drawn to pile one. I'm feeling an energy similar to pile one of sacral chakra healing, you healing your confidence, um, you allowing yourself to stand out and own it. Because I'm specifically looking at this card and it reminds me of a conversation I had with a client. Uh, she may be part of this reading. <laughs> um, and she is such a Leo, like I love her energy. Like it makes me feel like, yes, I can stand out too, like, it makes me feel inspired, but, uh, I don't know why I'm saying that, maybe people feel inspired by you in some way, but we were talking, and I was like, I'm looking at this woman here, let me show you, this woman here, and how confident she looks, and, um, I was saying to her, I feel like that's her energy, and I feel like some of you have that energy too, my eyes are starting to burn now as if I want to cry. So maybe some of you stand out so much that sometimes it's been painful where, you know, people either had jealousy at you or people um, would judge you for being confident in yourself. But I say, do not let anyone dim your light. Shine brightly, my pal twos, because that's exactly what you do. Um, and like this candle here, it, it reminds me of something someone said on Instagram, where it's like, if you shine brightly, you are going to not dim your light, but you're also going to light other people's candles for that fire to burn within them, for them to have inspiration from you. So when you burn bright, you're also inspiring others. And I feel that energy too here, like you stand out so much within your confidence, within the way you put yourself out to the world. And when you really own that power, <laughs> I'm hearing bad B energy. So that is what I feel here. And with this creativity card, some of you could be really creative with the way you express yourself, with the clothes you wear. Um, you could be someone that really believes in authentically expressing yourself since you even chose this rainbow trinket. Um, you could be really colorful people or wear a lot of color or you could stand out a lot like all this color here. You know when you see spirit is showing me a vision, like let's just say example, the whole world is, you know those older movies, black and white, when it's like dark kind of, like there's no color or anything. Uh, let's say the world looked like that and you were this colorful person here. Do you have any idea how much you'd stand out? I'm not talking about the color. The color is irrelevant. But you are like that person in color and the whole world is like just bland. Do you get what I mean? And I'm not saying you have to dress in color to stand out. What I'm saying is you are the one that stands out and like everyone notices you in a profound way in a huge way. <laughs> um, I don't know why I'm seeing Japan. Are some of you from Japan or Korea? I heard. <laughs> yeah, because I'm seeing like someone underneath those 
pink flowers. I forgot what they're called in Japan, but I know it's from Japan. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I'm definitely hearing bad B energy too. Like, you have bad B energy and that's what makes you stand out. And I'm looking at this woman here and her eyes are closed and her makeup and her smile. So some of you look really good with your makeup. Like, maybe you do your makeup in a really creative or nice way and a lot of people admire it or find inspiration from it and it's like you stand out because you are confident in yourself and when you like really allow yourself to shine brightly that's when you stand out the most but also some of you have beautiful smiles that make you stand out um I don't know why but I'm seeing like you know those models that are on stage and then they smile and then they shake their hand and they look really beautiful? Spirit is showing me that. So some of you have a beauty like a model and even if you listen to this and don't see yourself like this, this is what I'm seeing as a vision. So <laughs> um, <laughs> your spirit guides are really funny. I'm going to pull your cards now. I just have so much visions of things to say maybe you're the type of person since i'm not really pulling many cards and getting so many messages maybe you're the type of person that can take like an outfit for example let me just explain the energy you take like an outfit and it's a basic outfit and you somehow make it stand out and make it like as if people thought you're a showstopper um do you get what I mean? Or maybe some of you are like people that can take a few basic ingredients and make such an amazing meal. I'm feeling like that type of energy. Um, so that's what I see there. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say something else. Another vision I saw that I said your spirit guides are funny. Um, when I said I see you as like a model and like I heard some of you say no. <laughs> like almost like pull your face in confusion and say no I don't look like a model I'm seeing your spirit guides like almost pour water down your throat and say drink it take it <laughs> like take the compliment I don't know that was really funny to me <laughs> so spirit guides are my pile twos uh, may I please look into what about their beauty makes them stand out we have the level up card I love this. Okay, so someone commented that I should name the card names and the numbers of the cards. So this is the African Goddess Rising Oracle deck, card number 12 and 39. And then at the back of the deck, we have good juju, good luck. So some people could see you as really lucky, like where you just catch everyone's eye and catch everyone's attention. Um, and I feel an energy here with what makes you beautiful as well as your intelligence. Some of you don't just have physical beauty, but you also have an intelligence that people are attracted to. And some of you have like this um, energy of like, you know, when someone says like, I'm a lucky girl, like I manifest everything I want. Some of you have that type of magnetic energy where you just manifest the things you want and Spirit is saying that is beautiful too. Some of you like to wear crystals because I'm seeing like crystals in this card here. And like that makes you beautiful. That makes you stand out. Like people like to look at it. And uh, some people think you are having a beauty like a work of art. And I keep seeing smiles and laughter. And some of you have dimples when you smile. Um, but some of you also have a really seductive energy too that is really gorgeous and makes you stand out. But also in terms of your personality with the level up card, you are always growing and transforming and leveling up and that too makes you beautiful and makes you stand out. I'm seeing someone as a vision except a ward. I'm seeing a lot of visions for you. So maybe you could be someone that, daydreams a lot that has visions maybe you are psychic maybe you are clairvoyant or maybe you have a visionary kind of energy or this type of 
big imagination that allows you to create the life you want to live. Um, like when they say, imagine the whole reality you want to manifest. Yeah, so I saw someone receive an award and like look really beautiful on stage and everyone's clapping for them. So maybe you have that type of energy where you are leveling up, you are celebrating the things you've created and achieved and it's like people are almost watching from afar cheering you on and being inspired by you is what I feel. Since you chose this rainbow trinket too, there is a story behind this. I didn't know why I picked it but um, <laughs> someone gave it to me as a gift, a client. She bought me, no she didn't buy me things, she gave it to me as a gift but then she made a whole bunch of other jewelry for me too. And it's so sweet when clients give me, give me gifts, like it warms up my heart in a way no one else can imagine. <laughs> but like, um, I, I don't know, I was drawn to using it because it's so beautiful and colorful and I feel like maybe you're similar to pile one, seen as like a gift to people, seen as a blessing to people, like your presence, or just to look at you even seems like a blessing, a, a gift. So one thing I will say, I always, um, when I'm doing my piles, well most of the time, I will put on a stopwatch to see how long I speak so that I don't go too over time because sometimes I can just sit and chat to you all guys, you guys all day long, sorry. <laughs> but then I forgot to do it for you guys. So maybe you have the type of beauty that is like making people forget things. Now I'm hearing that song Clumsy by Fergie. Like maybe you have the type of beauty that makes people clumsy makes people fall all over or makes people fall head over heels in love or just makes people forget things easily. So a card fell on the floor with cosmic gateway, insecurities, connection with others and refocusing. So I'm feeling with this card falling on the ground, I didn't even use this oracle deck yet. Maybe some of the things you're hearing, you're gonna deny it and be like, no, that's not true. But it's actually true because these are your spirit guides messages. <laughs> so take the compliment. <laughs> um, just like they showed before in that vision. What was I saying before? Oh yeah, forgetfulness. So I, I do feel like people definitely have that forgetfulness energy around you because you have a beauty that stands out so much. So spirit guides on my pile number twos, may I please look into what about their beauty makes them stand out? We have recognition. I feel like some of you are on a self-love journey and the more you recognize traits or physical features in yourself, in your personality, that make you stand out, that make you beautiful, that make you shine. The more you notice the beautiful things about yourself, the less you're going to focus on, you know, certain insecurities we have. We all have insecurities and I'm not saying that to invalidate anyone's feelings, but everyone on a certain level has insecurities. So how can we focus less on that and focus more on the things we do find beautiful? Focus less on things people have said to us in our memories and focus more on what we actually think about ourselves. I gave an example in pile one with beauty is in the eye of the beholder and I see exactly this message here too. So some of you may have been drawn to pile one where I said to them, someone said that my voice was too slow in, in school. Many people said that to me and got very irritated with me and said, speak faster. Whereas here on YouTube, me being myself, some of you comment really sweet things about my voice, like it's so soothing and soft and calming. Do you see how two of the same thing is received differently by different people? So sometimes, yes, that thing that person said, I wouldn't say may be true, but it may be there, like maybe you see it yourself and that's why it makes you feel some way, but then maybe another person may look at that and recognize that to be the most beautiful thing on earth. And I feel like 
people recognize your beauty, people recognize how much you stand out and because some of us, you know, we get used to our features, we only see how we look in the mirror and then when we're out in public we have no idea, you know, how a facial expression we make or a certain thing we do that someone finds beautiful or something we didn't even know they found beautiful. Do you get what I mean? And I feel like you have a beauty where people recognize it and they turn their head for you. But the more you recognize the things about you that you love, um, the more other people recognize that too. On your self-love journey, we have relaxation because you're more relaxed, you're more at peace with yourself. And I don't know if someone here had a mother. I'm seeing a mother figure say to someone, um, relax don't get wrinkles or something like that. Worry creates wrinkles. I don't know if someone here had a mother or a grandmother say that, but anyways, or maybe it's a spirit guide I'm picking up on, <laughs> but they're saying it as a joke because I wouldn't say that as a message to someone that's actually not me, but then, because I would never think something like that, so I know it's not me saying that, you know, but Maybe the more relaxed you are, the more calm you are, it's like the more people are drawn to you. And I'm talking about in your confidence, in the way you show up to the world with all the orange here, it gives me sacral chakra energy, which is our confidence. So yes, what makes you stand out is everything about you, I feel. <laughs> um... But I also feel like, like I said, you have that type of beauty. It's not one thing that makes you stand out. It's everything. It's your hair. It's your eyes. It's your smile. It's your nose. It's the way you dress. It's like everything looks on point. I'm seeing like someone and every single thing people can find something to compliment. Do you get what I mean? Uh... Like, it's not just your hair, it's not just your eyes, it's not just your smile, it's everything. Like, people see it and they like it. Do you get what I mean? <laughs> so that's why I'm not getting, like, specific things like smile, well, I said smile, but like eyes, uh, this, this, this. I'm getting, like, a bit of everything makes you beautiful, makes you stand out. Um, maybe some of you have long flowy hair too or short hair like this and people find that beautiful too. And I keep getting your fashion style and the way you dress. And then at the back of the deck we have support. So I feel like this is you being supportive to all parts of yourself. You know when they say uh, we shouldn't talk mean to ourselves in the mirror because then we're really talking to our inner child. I see this as young version of you, you now, older version of you, like different versions of you and you being supportive to them. Yeah, I definitely feel some of you have visionary energy. Spirit is showing me Bratz fashion for passion when Jade kind of like in the in the actual Bratz movie when she goes under them and then she starts dressing under them and like then she totally like makes everyone stop and stare because of the way she looks and like almost like go ooh or whistle at her or like just be like wow like I feel like you have that effect on people with your fashion style too um, and the things you create if you're a creative person. So spirit guides of my pile number twos what about their beauty makes them stand out? We have Temple of Mary with emotional expression, playful innocence, and exploitation. So I feel with this energy, even with us getting this far into the reading, I haven't had a whole bunch of tarot cards. Usually by this time I'll be by my tarot cards in the reading, but everything is so simple and I feel like not even using tarot cards for you today because I'm just channeling the messages because otherwise this reading is going to be super long and she's naked here but she's kind of has this innocence because she's Mother Mary. So some of you could be really simple, 
like you could just be really simple not in a bad way like in the way you dress maybe you have the simplicity to you that people see as beautiful you know they say sometimes like less is more so I feel like some of you have that too and it's like really your heart that makes you beautiful too because her heart has beams of light coming out of it and just above her head is these crystals that kind of look like a crown above her head so some of you have queen energy king energy and you know people put you on a pedestal but also when you're playful and you're just you know being yourself there is some sense of that standing out that making you beautiful so spirit guides on my pile number twos what about their beauty makes them stand out Okay, we have two cards. We have Violet Fire with Transmutation, Detoxification, Psychic Vision, and Constant Distraction. I'm seeing a daydreamy energy as a vision for some of you. Or some of you, since I'm seeing so many visions, some of you are visually pleasing or stimulating to people. Like some of you, yes, we have Mother Mary here, but some of you have a really seductive energy and a really daydreamy energy too, like in your beauty. Like it almost makes people see you as a dreamy person. And then some of you have a beauty like a diamond. Maybe this pressure you're going on, this detoxification and healing you're going through, that pressure is making you a diamond. Um, like a beauty that is like a diamond. I don't know how else to explain that. And then we have Tibetan Fire Serpent with Seeking a Higher Truth, Discernment, a Better Path and Authority. I feel like what also makes you beautiful is how in your personality you maybe have had people do things around you that aren't necessarily right or just or fair. And it's like, I feel like you've been through some things, you're healing through some things, but as you heal through that, you also level up and you also find your power and, you know, that transformation you go through makes you like a diamond, but then you still choose to be a better person in the world, even though maybe you've experienced, I'm hearing, like, shit people, I'm sorry for saying that, but I'm hearing that, um, so yeah. We have your 31, 35, 39, 12 for the cards, for those that want to know. So last four cards and then we're going to end off because <laughs> there were so many visions. Okay, we have the Six of Swords. So you moving forward, you moving on from that is making you beautiful right now and before as well. But it's making you beautiful because... You're letting go of that and you're moving towards a much happier energy. We have the Four of Cups. I feel like this is the relaxed energy too with the Four of Cups. They're just sitting, drinking coffee. And it's like, you know how sometimes coffee, drinking coffee in the morning can be one of the greatest but one of the most mundane things? I have coffee right next to me that I forgot to drink. <laughs> But when we really tune in and appreciate the moment, it can be the most beautiful thing. And I feel an energy, I keep feeling an energy, you know, when we look in the mirror, we see the same face every day. Um, it's not like we're a video game character where we can edit ourselves all the time um, and have variety, but we make the most mundane thing beautiful. And it's not mundane at all. We just see it that way because we see it every day. Just like if we had to, Spirit is showing me a vision of if we had to eat the most expensive food like lobster, sushi every day, it would become mundane and boring. You know what I mean? So sometimes we see ourselves as just mundane, but we're not. 
it's the same message multiple times. We have the Knight of Wands. So this playful, adventurous energy you have too. And you seeing the world in color. You having that very vibrant personality makes you beautiful, makes you stand out even more. And then we have the Queen of Wands. So your confidence frees you from other people's opinions, projections, insecurities, your own. Your confidence frees you with the horse. Horses are freedom <laughs> from like self dislike is the word I want to use. Your confidence frees you from being too small, like making yourself small and really allows you to be free in the world and be yourself in the world. Just like, you know, if someone became a musician, I'm hearing, and they chose to play it small and not put themselves out there, none of us would get to, live to listen to their beautiful music. And I'm just using this as an example of a metaphor spirit is showing me. You know, some people may see you as beautiful and may see you as the best friend they want. You know, not just because of your physical beauty, but you just putting yourself out there authentically in the world. And if you never did that, they would never see you or, you know, think that person is my friend. And I feel like you're also really healing your self-worth and that self-love journey you're going on is making you believe you're beautiful it's not making you beautiful. It's making you believe in your beauty. And when we really believe something, we start to show the world that. So this is where I'm going to end off with your reading, my pile twos. I really hope this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye. Hi there my pile number threes, if you chose this pyrite crystal and the pleasure card, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at what about your beauty makes you stand out. So just before I started your pile, I felt very thirsty and then I had some of the coffee that I had earlier but then it kind of went cold but I sometimes like my coffee cold because sometimes it tastes nice. <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you this, but basically, in essence, what I was trying to say is before I started your reading and like when I put your card out, I all of a sudden became really thirsty. So maybe you have the type of beauty that makes people thirst for you. <laughs> okay, and then second thing, when I was about to start, I felt very out of breath. I'm hearing that song, she's a heartbreaker or what, I'm a heartbreaker or something. So since I felt out of breath, I kind of feel an energy here where you take people's breath away with your beauty because you stand out so much, but also uh, maybe people may view you as a heartbreaker or it's kind of like, I don't want to be attracted to that person because they're so beautiful. They stand out so much that my heart is going to get broken. I don't want to get rejected. Like I'm out of that person's league. That's the energy I feel. And with the pleasure card you chose, card number 11, for those that want to know, some of you asked me to mention the numbers on the card. There is an energy here of like, you know when people say it's a pleasure to meet you, I'm feeling it's a pleasure to look at you. <laughs> it's a pleasure to stare at you. It's a pleasure to have my breath taken away because I feel like the type of beauty you have, uh, this image here of this lady kind of gives me dark divine feminine energy, this really seductive energy. And the way she's dancing on stage kind of gives me that Leo vibe of like standing out and, you know, really being comfortable with being yourself in the world and with expressing yourself. Um, you don't have to be a Leo to relate to that, but I'm, you know, channeling the energy of your beauty. And sometimes when I channel energies I, I will sometimes pick up on a sign but that's just the energy spirit is describing do you get what I mean so you have this radiance to you and like this 
energy of like glowing in the dark like a star shining in the dark um or maybe the type of beauty that is like a diamond like shining bright like a diamond like rihanna said um but even with these clouds i'm feeling like a daydreamy or a dreamy energy or it kind of looks cartoon like some of you have like dreamy type of cartoon like cute um beauty to you <laughs> And like I said, this lady dancing, it reminds me of Shakira. <laughs> so maybe some of you have an energy where your hips don't lie, a beauty like that. Or people are really attracted to your beauty in terms of your body and it makes you stand out. Um, but also, I feel like you have an energy or a beauty that makes you shine, that makes you stand out, that makes it seem like you're the one on stage and everyone's watching you uh, when you walk by. So let me go ahead and pull some oracle cards. So spirit guides of my pile threes, spirit guides on my pile threes, what about their beauty makes them stand out? We have joy. You being in your pleasure and your joy, really enjoying the moment, enjoying life, feeling safe within your body, feeling safe to be confident in the world and to really feel joy and experience each moment as if it's the most beautiful thing on earth is what makes you beautiful too. Because I feel like, you know, sometimes, I don't know, Spirit is showing me me, like, there were times maybe I went on holiday with my parents when I was younger and I'm really grumpy and I'm like frowning in the picture. <laughs> They're showing me that, probably my grandma. <laughs> um, and then like times where I was really happy and I was smiling. It's not like my face changed, but I became more radiant in the photo. Even if I didn't look that attractive in the photo or maybe I just perceive it that way, I still had that radiance to me. So Spirit is showing me it like that as me as an example. So card 16, by the way. Um, so maybe some of you have that energy, like you are already attractive and beautiful, but then when you smile or when you're in laughter or really enjoying the moment, you have this radiance to you and you shine and you glow. <laughs> That's the feeling I get here. Um, and I think some of you are also learning to see your worth, uh, see that you're worthy of feeling pleasure and feeling joy. And I do feel a seductiveness too. I'm now going to pull some more cards. So this is the African Goddess Rising Oracle deck. So Spirit Guides of Pile Threes. May I please look into what people find about their beauty that stands out? Well, not what people find, but what, what about their beauty makes them stand out? We have mystery. So I feel like you have a mystery to you and it just makes people more intrigued and want to see into your life. Like I'm getting as an example, social media. Some of you could be really photogenic or people could really love the aesthetic of your photos or just how you look in your photos, for example, and then be so intrigued by you that they want to get to know you and want to go through your whole profile, even though you're a stranger, to see who is this person here. There's something so intriguing about them, mysterious. Okay. Um... What about my pile three's beauty makes them stand out? We have gratitude. And then we have hope at the back of the deck. What about pile three's beauty makes them stand out? So this was the messages from Mermaid's Oracle deck. What about my pile three's beauty makes them stand out? We have inner oracle with you are the channel deja vu with self-fulfilling prophecy.
I'm hearing that song as I look at the Deja Vu card. Do you remember the 21st night of September? <laughs> and Spirit showed me a lady I used to follow on TikTok. Well, I kind of deleted TikTok. But then she always dressed up in such a 70s vibe. We have Dharma Wheel, Karmic Lessons, Peer Pressure and Moral Clothes. Card number 17, by the way. And she always dressed up in the 70s vibe. And I remember watching a video of her where, like, old men, like, that were really, really old were, like, looking at her a lot or, like, um, you know, complimenting her outfit because it reminded them of their younger years. And I feel like some of you have that energy where maybe you dress up in a time area era that makes you seem noticed like for example let's say some of you like to wear y2k and the, which is year 2000 uh fashion style or aesthetic and you know a lot of people that were either teenagers or young adults in the 2000s look at you and are like oh my gosh I remember wearing that like I love the way they put together that outfit it looks so cute um, or let's say you like to wear like a 70s style or really colorful like the 70s then you know you could be seen like that by much older people as if like there's this sort of remembrance here <laughs> you're taking them back to a memory they have or if some of you don't relate to aesthetics, I could also take this as, for some of you, like, I'm seeing maybe, like, the older generation look at you and, you know, think, for example, let's say a random woman is looking at you and you're also a woman, for example. It doesn't have to be, but just an example. And she's thinking, you know, I looked so similar to her when I was, like, 20 or something <laughs> like it reminds me of younger me or I don't know like that's the vibe I'm getting or like if your parents ever look at you maybe there's some resemblance and them finding you beautiful or something like that <laughs> that's cute um but I I also feel like with deja vu you know when you have fun with a person and then you kind of have a deja vu experience and it's like a complete stranger. I'm feeling that energy. And I guess they find it beautiful and it makes you stand out to them. So maybe these are perhaps people you have soul connections with that feel that energy. Or like maybe, you know, let's say you're laughing and you're having fun with them. You're playful together or you're joking together. And then you laugh and it makes them think of the type of person they wanted or you do something for them and it makes them think of the type of person they wanted with self-fulfilling prophecy and like them feeling so so much gratitude for you like it's that energy like I said in the beginning it's a pleasure to look at you to stare at you. <laughs> I feel like the people you love really like to admire you and look at you and stare at you and that's something I see here. I'm also looking at her makeup. It looks so on point. <laughs> Some of you look really good in your makeup. Some of you wear um, clothes like this. Some of you like to wear crop tops and show your stomach or like skirts like this. I don't know. Um, or something covering your head because these two cards have it. With the elephant chair, I feel like while we're talking about the energy is big, you know, if an elephant were to walk by, it wouldn't be so quiet. It would be a grand entrance where everyone's like, what, what is going on? Like, I feel like that's how people look at you, <laughs> not in terms of physical appearance, appearance, but like, what, like that shock factor? Do you get what I mean? I also just bumped my nail, so <laughs> I guess, like, maybe also a clumsy feeling, like, um, maybe people getting so excited to talk that they don't realize they're doing something wrong in that moment, that maybe they bump themselves or something, I don't know. <laughs> um, I guess that's what I'm picking up here. Let me pull some small tarot cards. 
I'm seeing someone look into your eyes and daydreamingly say, you know, I could talk to you forever. I could look at you forever. I would never get bored. So I don't feel like that's just in terms of romantic love, but I feel like you have that energy. And I feel like I'm hearing the word eye-catching. Um, and I'm hearing water drip in the in the kitchen. I'm not sure <laughs> why, but I'm hearing that. I didn't hear it earlier. So you know when someone says something like, the silence was so loud you could hear a needle drop or something like that. I don't know how the saying goes. But like, I'm getting that vibe. Like when you walk into the room, it's a, ga a grand entrance. It's like silence and everyone is shocked by what they're seeing. 1111, you also have a beauty that is divine. Like, I'm seeing the Divine Feminine album cover by Mac Miller. A divine beauty. I love that. <laughs> um, and I'm seeing, like, maybe someone look at you and find you so beautiful. We have the universe with Miss Universe here. Maybe you have a beauty that is so beautiful like Miss Universe. <laughs> model type beauty but not just models anyways what was i saying i'll get back to that message um i forgot what i was saying maybe like pile two people forget what they're saying around you or what they're doing because you're so attractive um with miss universe here maybe it's not just your physical beauty because miss universe is not just a beautiful woman she is also a woman that has many many personality traits that makes her miss universe like a helping hand uh generosity um intelligence things like that uh also maybe having a beautiful heart things like that being a role good role model uh inspiration to others i feel like you have many traits and qualities that make you shine and make you stand out and make you like as if you're being crowned by the universe <laughs> even my cards just moved i'm gonna take that as confirmation now we have the king of pentacles so maybe you have the type of beauty even with the pyrite that makes people want to spoil you that makes people want to give to you it doesn't just have to be in terms of money but like I feel like even if it's small things like buying you coffee or helping you with something like I feel like you have that type of beauty and then we have the ace of swords so mentally you have a lot of beauty your mental field is beautiful like uh people that are attracted to someone's intelligence like they're attracted to you on a high capacity is what I feel there am I even using those words right I don't know it's the words I'm hearing um but yeah I feel like people find your intelligence beautiful and the way you talk with the ace of swords too some of you could talk in a really dreamy way some of you could talk in a way that seems really flirtatious some of you could talk in a way that is attractive and like a melody but something about the way you talk your voice um, or the things you say could be really beautiful too and then we have the star the star and the goddess of stars here in this card that is a synchronicity you are a bright star <laughs> like you shine bright like a star and now i'm hearing that song um, that my boyfriend always plays in the car, I'm trying to remember his name. Destroy Lonely is his name, but I forgot what the song's name is, but something like You Shine Bright Like a Star or something. I just started hearing it. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, Bright Like a Diamond. <laughs> oh, so it's like, and you shine brighter than the stars that decorate the night sky. And all I rock is flawless diamonds, blah, 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 blah. So it's called How You Feel. So that's really, really cool. And then while I was typing, like, my nails were making a sound. I don't know if some of you like to wear nails and then like to hear the sound, like, click, clack. <laughs> or, like, I'm seeing maybe some of you like to wear heels and then it makes sounds. Or, like, some of you, like, it's external things you do that are beautiful to others. Like, you could do things in a really cute way or... Um, 
you know, have certain habits that are cute to people or beautiful to people or the way you smile or the way you make a facial expression or something like that or the way you say something or do something could be perceived as beautiful. Yeah. So now let me pull some tarot cards. So spirit guides on my pile threes, spirit guides on my pile threes, may I please look into what about their beauty makes them stand out? We have the nine of cups, we have the justice card. So with the nine of cups, I'm getting an energy of like everyone would wish to look like you or have certain things you have or have a certain trait you have in your beauty. Like let's say you have a certain shape of lips that other people look at and wish they had or a lot of people may look at you as if you're the exact wish come true in a person and like a friend in a partner in terms of physical but also personality type of beauty and with the justice card I feel like you living in your truth um, and speaking your truth from your heart makes you beautiful too because I feel like you're really authentic to yourself and yeah that's what I'm seeing so we also have the two of wands I feel like you also have an energy like when you want to go after the things you wish for and it's like you view it as if the world is your oyster and that is something people find beautiful because it's like you're honest with yourself when you want something and you're going to reach for the stars. We have the king of wands so I'm hearing the word eccentric when I look at this king of wands. There could be some men watching with the king of pentacles and king of wands too um, but I'm looking at the shininess around him like these stars. <laughs> we keep getting that same message and I'm seeing his fashion style is really like he's standing out and he's being himself and that is beautiful. Like I'm hearing even if the clothes don't make sense to other people or even if the colors don't match, like you expressing yourself is what makes you beautiful is like the vibe I pick up on. I'm not saying your clothes don't match, I'm just saying you expressing yourself. We have the four of cups. Hmm. We have the three of cups. Um, I'm looking at the grapes there and Spirit is kind of taking me back on a memory when I drank grape juice. I don't know. I almost felt like I went through a whole different universe there. <laughs> Maybe this is my magical pile. It's like you transported me to a different realm, your energy. <laughs> um, Maybe you do that to people. But like with a grape juice... I'm getting sweet, like you could have a beauty that is sweet. Spirit is telling me not to focus on the actual meaning of the Four of Cups, but they were showing me the grapes, to focus on the grapes, okay? <laughs> so I feel an energy here. Your, your beauty is juicy. <laughs> it's delicious to look at. It's pleasurable to look at. It's a celebration to look at with the Three of Cups. I almost feel like, you know, when people get fa their favorite show come on on TV and they get excited, I feel like people get excited to see you or if you had to have a social media presence, I'm seeing some of you really do have a model like beauty, like you are photogenic and if you had to take, you know, TikTok videos or Instagram photos or, you know, upload pictures to Pinterest of your fashion style, it's like people would get excited to see that content or if you had to express yourself in some creative way that is pleasurable to you and show it to the world or do something on social media, there's like an excitement from others where they would love to watch you in some way. There's like this excitement, this kind of energy of putting you on a pedestal, like people would watch you as like entertainment is the energy I'm getting or yeah, like if you were an actor or an actress, like 
I'm getting that vibe. I don't know why, but I am. Maybe you have that type of beauty that is like celebrity like, <laughs> that makes people think you're a celebrity. Well, makes people very intrigued by you and your life and feel like they are almost like a fan of yours. <laughs> we have the Six of Pentacles. Um, with the Six of Pentacles, I'm picking up on that energy. Like, um, I'm hearing, <laughs> this is your spirit guides joking. I don't actually think like this, but I'm hearing like, hey, peasant. <laughs> Like this woman saying to them, hey peasants, I know you're not going to say that to people because I feel like you're very generous and kind and loving people. But then like, it's almost like people would worship you or call themselves your peasant. Like that's the vibe I'm picking up on. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, maybe you just have that type of beauty that is almost like celebrity-like showstopper energy. And even in this picture, I'm seeing her fashion style so on point. Um, and now I'm seeing a vision of Paris Hilton say to someone like, being friends with you is like charity or something. I can't remember exactly what she said. I know you're not like thinking like that because I feel you're very kind people and you're very generous. You have very big hearts, a heart like a diamond. You are like a diamond and, oh, sorry, <laughs> I even just bumped my arm there. So maybe people get kind of clumsy in front of you. And that's what makes you beautiful too. But like, you have no idea how much people put you on a pedestal, which is why Spirit is giving those messages. It's like in a funny way. I guess Spirit is just feeling playful today. <laughs> So I'm going to end off your reading here on my pile threes. I really hope this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye!